I want to catch up on a, another syntactic thing that I should have talked about a lot easier and a lot earlier in the tutorial videos, which is uh, pre and post fix increment operator. So you know the the plus plus is the increment operator, and if you've been reading some C code, you know that you can put it either before the variable or after the variable. So that's what I mean by pre and post, and both of them are syntactically legal, but they have slightly different effects. So first let's look at uh, the post version and so the difference between the two they both have the same side effect the side effect of uh, prefix increment and postfix increment is to increment the variable the difference between them is the return value and when you put the plus plus after the variable it's going to return the current value of the variable and then as a side effect it will increment the variable so when I run this code, I get this output. So the variable is initially 8. Now I do this, and the return value for this operation is the original value, which is 8. So it says post 8. But if you look at what the value of the variable is, you can see that it's been incremented to 9. That's because, as a side effect, it incremented the value of A. Um, and this output comes from commenting this out and doing it like this. So if you do it that way, when you do this, it increments the variable, but it returns the new incremented value. So that's why this line prints 9 instead of 8. And in both cases, the current value of the variable after the increment is one more than it was before. So the last line is the same every time. And so there are some situations where you use a repeat loop. And I think especially when people are trying to look clever, they use the, uh, the prefix version of the increment as the incrementer in their repeat loop. I rarely do it that way. Um, uh, but you could, and did I change this? Yeah. So let's run that. So that's what it prints out if you have the prefix version. Since the return value isn't used, it makes absolutely no difference which value you choose in this case. The output is exactly the same. In fact, uh, you could leave that off completely and change this to that, and you would get the same output. That's because it's returning the current value right before the increment, and it has the side effect of incrementing. But what is the output going to do if you put it like this? It's going to skip 0. And let's make sure that that's true. So it skips 0, goes straight to 1, and goes up to 9. That's interesting. So before it went up to 8, and now it goes up to 9. That's because in the last time through, i is equal to 8. This increments and returns the incremented value, which is 9. So another place where you see this where it can be kind of confusing is uh, pointer hopping with strings. So here I've got the, the string albatross and believe it or not this one line is, is going to print that string to the screen. Whoops. Oh, I named them both the same ridiculous thing. Okay. All right. So let's run it. Okay, so it just you can see it just prints out the word albatross. Um, and why does it work? Uh, that's because, uh, let's start on the inside here. Um, so this, you, know, you can see that it's kind of ambiguous here if you don't know anything about the, the precedence of the operations, whether the dereference operator is going to be uh, done first, and then the increment will be done, or will it be the case that uh, the increment is done first and then the dereference. So it turns out that this is the answer. So if you write it like that, then the output is exactly the same as before. But if you force the order of operations to go the other way by using parentheses like this, then what is the effect? Well, the pointer is never going to get incremented. And uh, yeah, so what's, what's happening in that case? Uh, you're dereferencing, and so that's going to return A, and then you're going to increment that, 
and then you're going to put the character uh, to be honest I'm not sure why that's exploding but anyway if you just write it like that then it does the right thing if you do the the prefix version then it's going to skip the initial letter A and just print out Elbatross. Um, the reason this eventually stops is because putchar has as a return value the character that was actually written. Because all strings are null terminated, the thing that gets written is eventually the null character, which is zero. When zero is output from putchar, while considers zero, and that evaluates to false, and then the while loop stops.